So this is going to be 4, comma, and then we define theta. So the inverse theta of y is going to be a 2 squared root. So here, let me just write it. I'll, I'll write it this way. Okay, so the inverse is going to be of negative 2 squared root. this way. So this is calculated this way. This is calculating what's the inverse median of the square root of negative 2. So we get about negative 5, 5 degrees that you can recognize the inverse. Did you get uh, 30 or 60? 60. So what do you think the inverse standard of negative square root of 2 would be? Negative 60. Or pi over Try another one. Try another one. Let's do this one right next to it. Let's try this uh, three. So with three, you're going to have x and y equal negative three cubed to the y. So you're going to put the variance of the square root of zero squared from negative two squared, which is seven. figure that out. So I'm going to draw a little picture here. And show, show where 0, negative 3 is. It's down here. And where do you think, what do you think this angle is going to be? It's not on the top. What is it? Negative 3 pi over 2. Or positive 3 pi over 2. Or we could say negative pi over 2. I don't care which one you define. And so my coordinates course, you could say it's negative 3 pi over 2. You could do all that. But what's cool about this, what's cool about this is you can see how that negative 3 works. It's just working. Right? Let's go to the next thing. And that is, what if you wanted to change a uh, equation into a uh, into a polar point? See this one here, one here. We have x minus e squared plus y squared equals e. So I'm going to change the output field from x minus 3 squared. Those from the uh, and then the very last 
heart is going to be down below here. That is, the changing, changing of polar if you feel the changing. I think Christians would think this is hard. R equals negative three. R is the square root of x squared plus y squared.